and welcome back to a new writing vlog on my channel. My name's Leora and I talk on here about books, reading and writing as well. And since my writing group has started up again, I thought this was the perfect time to also get back to the writing vlogs. So for those of you who were not aware, I'm currently writing my first book. <laughs> oh my god, it feels so silly saying that, like I'm lying, <laughs> but I'm not. So I'm working on an essay collection. I currently have like three to four essays done. And my plan for right now, which I've discussed recently in writing group as well, is to just keep on writing essays and to then in a while when I have a good few, just take a look at them and maybe see which ones have like a similar theme and which we can put together because I just want to publish like a small booklet. I don't want it to be like a big project or anything. I just want to start off with like a nice cute chapbook-ish essay collection, maybe even do some illustrations for it, but I really don't know about all that. So for now, I'm just focusing on the writing. You can tell that this is what my writing teacher said just to calm me down because <laughs> my problem is I'm already like 20 steps ahead. I'm like worrying about publishing it, haven't even written the thing. <laughs> so typical. So these vlogs are basically just me taking you along on my writing journey, talking about my insecurities, what I'm currently working on, and all sorts of different things. It was really nice to connect with other writers in the comments of my previous vlogs as well. It's been so wonderful finding like a little writing community on this corner of the internet. So that's just been great all together. So like I mentioned before, I'm in a writing group, so it's basically all these writers that are working on their own projects. Some of them are working on books, and some of them are just handing in like random work work each few weeks. We come together every other week. Our next meeting is tonight. So I'm due to read some of the other writers work that they've handed in and then I'll make some notes and take that to writing group tonight. I'm not sure if I'll film during writing group, like I've done it before, but there's some new people in group, so I'm not sure if they're comfortable with it, but you'll see, I guess. So during COVID, my writing group was online, but now it's in person again, which is really wonderful. It's been so good to have like a community like there as well. So I have like the community online and then we're in actual writing group. So I'm very blessed, that's for sure. And we basically help each other out on our process. We motivate each other, stuff like that. It's been all around wonderful. If you're around Rotterdam and you're looking for a writing group or a writing course, because they give courses as well, highly recommend The Writer's Guide. Great people, great atmosphere, queer friendly really good. I also got a lot of comments about writing group on my previous videos as well of people saying like, oh my god, I also want to join a writing group. So I highly encourage you to just Google around because that's what I did as well. And then I found one local to me. I do know that the writer's guide also have several courses that are fully online. So, and some of those are also in English. Uh, so you can check those out as well. <laughs> so what I want to try this coming week is to write a little bit every day. So I'm going to do a writing challenge. Oh my God, look at me. I'm nervous already. <laughs> so let's aim for what is a good time. I feel like 30 minutes is very ambitious. So let's just do 20 minutes. So I'm going to try to write for 20 minutes every day. Maybe 20 minutes too short though. <laughs> I don't know. Or maybe I should do a word count, like a hundred words every day, but that's like not a lot, is it? Don't know. So I'm going to Google and see what kind of writing challenges other people have done. <laughs> I'm such a professional. Maybe this is also something I could ask my writing group tonight. Like what is a good goal to set for a writing challenge? Because I'm like not about to do NaNoWriMo or anything. Like God, what a commitment. I just want to do like a small thing for a week each day to see just if I can motivate myself. Because last week I barely wrote before writing group, which is just like a shame because, you know, the group is there to help me along. And if I don't really write, then it's like, God, why am I there? So maybe I should aim for like 200 words. Maybe that's doable or 100. I don't know. Okay, but we'll see. I just want to try and write every day starting tomorrow <laughs> because I don't have time tonight. <laughs> Yay, it's already getting off to a great start. There's several essays I'm working on right now. I handed one in this week that was basically about my childhood and me being a very bossy child. Like I was always the leader and this greatly annoyed my sister and some of my other nephews and nieces. And I kind of maybe want to shift that into a broader cultural perspective of like, why is it that especially in girls being bossy is not encouraged, but sort of you're told off. And I feel like when men do it, it's more like, oh my God, he's a born leader. But then a girl's like bossing everybody around and they're like, 
she's mean. So maybe it would be interesting to see if that's an actual thing or that's my imagination and to then incorporate that sort of into the essay, but I'm not sure if that's the right way to go. So I'm also gonna ask my writing group how they feel that essay could progress. And then the second essay I'm writing is very personal to me. And it's also kind of difficult to write about. It's about my first intimate experiences, to word it very nicely. And those were quite difficult, to be honest, and maybe even traumatic sometimes. Not because of the people I did it with, but more so because of my physical situation. I don't feel that comfortable going deeper into that right now. I've noticed last week that it was really difficult for me to write about as well, so maybe I'm just not ready yet to share it with the world, but potentially it could be a good exercise to just write it for me. Um, and I do feel comfortable handing it into writing group because I'm just like, I genuinely feel very safe with these people, these other authors that I work with. So we'll see about that. And then one last resource, if I can't push myself to work on either of these essays, is to ask my writing teacher for a writing prompt that I could work with in the upcoming week. That could also be great. So I have some plans and ideas for how to get myself to finally write. So I'm gonna read the other writer's work right now, make some notes, get ready for class, and then I'll get back to you guys when I've nailed down what I'm gonna work on and what the writing challenge is going to be. <laughs> deep and profound notes on my classmates' work. <laughs> Hi, good morning. So for the past week, I've been writing here and there, but yesterday I decided to like officially start my writing challenge. And I do have to admit, like right up until this second, I was undecided on what the challenge was going to be exactly. Because yesterday I think I wrote for like an hour and a half, maybe two hours at a little coffee shop. It was really nice. I just had a little chai tea, ate some scones. <laughs> and wrote my story feeling like a proper little author. It was kind of funny though, because like I was saying before, I decided to focus on the essay about my first experiences with intimacy. So here I am <laughs> writing about that in public. <laughs> it's also kind of a difficult subject for me to write about because when I first started that portion of my life, it didn't really go the way I want it to. And that is of course what this essay is about, vaginismus, some of you may know it. I'm gonna get demonetized. <laughs> anyway, it's difficult for me to write about and I noticed that it's sort of halting me in the process but at the same time I know that it's an important story that I just wanna write down. Like even if I never publish it, I wanna have it out of my system, I think that would be good. But I did make some good progress yesterday. I just wrote down all the different scenes and started working out some of those scenes in a bit more detail and like with actual prose. So I think the challenge is going to be that I'm going to try and write a hundred words every day. Not sure for how long, we'll just see how far I make it. My deadline for my writing group is on Friday. It's Tuesday right now. No way, it's Wednesday actually. God. So in a very rude turn of events, my camera battery decided to die out. So I've switched cameras. So if it sounds and looks a little bit different, that's why. So I booked quite some progress writing yesterday, which just feels really nice, you know? It's been only hiccups and like sort of mental barricades starting a story. And then you finally write the first few hundred words. Like that feeling of finally the words getting out there, such a good feeling. So my idea is that I'm just going to try and write a hundred words each day and see how it goes, see what progress I book. And I think it's just good to get the words out there. Even if I think it's like horribly bad what I'm writing down, it's good that it's still written down and then we can discuss it in writing group and probably I'll get like a new positive outlook on it and feel motivated again to write because that, to be honest, is really what this group is doing for me. So for today as well, I just want to write at least 100 words. And other than that, I have a lot of other work I need to do for my other jobs. So we'll see how it goes. A friend of mine is gonna come over to work together. So that's always nice to keep myself motivated as well. Something totally random that is not related that I do wanna show you guys is that yesterday I found the perfect wool coat on the market. And yes, I was supposed to work, but I went to the market instead. This is the issue with being a freelancer. <laughs> she is so 
stunning. This is the coat of my dreams, honestly. I am beyond excited. Oh, I feel so chic. I just feel cute and chic at the same time. It does kind of smell like secondhand coats. Like if you like vintage shopping, you know exactly what smell I mean. Um, so I'm not sure, like, cause I feel like bringing it to the dry cleaners is gonna be so expensive. I could have just bought a new coat. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Uh, I've sprayed it with perfume, but it doesn't really work. <laughs> but at least my outfit is very cozy and full. So I'm very excited about that. Okay, I'll end this bit of random nonsense right now. Let's get back to writing. <laughs> I'm having a bit of an off day today. I'm sure we're all familiar with those days where just like everything feels sort of wrong and like I feel like I can't do it right and I'm sort of trying to be perfect but I'm not because <laughs> I'm a person. I did promise myself that I would try and write every day just a hundred words at least um, and I still have to do my hundred words for today but I do have to say I did make quite a lot of good progress over the last few days. So this challenge has definitely worked out for me. So there's at least one thing I get to be proud of today because the thing that kept happening because the hundred word count is like so doable. I started writing every day and I'd be like, right, I've written my hundred words, but I'm kind of in the mood now. So I could just keep going. And I ended up writing around 2000 words so far. So that's really good. I know it's not astronomical. I know there's people that write like, I don't know, 50,000 words. Okay, that's maybe a bit wild. 
I just feel like there must be people out there doing it a lot better than me. But, you know, we're not about to compare ourselves here. Well, I mean, I am doing that right now, but I didn't intend to. I just feel like anything that comes out of my mouth is such nonsense right now. Yesterday, I went to the library. There's a really beautiful library near to my house where I've never been before. So yesterday I went for the first time and it was stunning. It was so gorgeous. I filmed a few clips there. You just saw them. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. I must go there more often and maybe like, maybe do like a library haul sometime. I don't know. I'm just so excited about like finding a new place to sit and to write and to just hang out. And also how cool is it that they sort of have a garden combined with an old beautiful library it's just i'm so impressed with it how did i not know it was there like i told some of my friends i was so excited about this library and several of them were like we told you about that library and i was like okay well i didn't listen i guess <laughs> anyway i have written out a few more of the scenes on my scene list i thought i'd show you guys it's not that interesting it's just a page full of writing <laughs> and then i sort of chose scenes to write out so i wrote the scene where i went to the doctors for my problems and sort of the things she did and i tried to go deeper into my thought process when i was at the doctors and like how awkward i felt and like how it felt sort of invasive and i keep noticing that it's quite difficult to sort of get into the mindset and think about how i felt just because it's difficult to revisit those moments because they were obviously not my favorite moments ever and it's also sort of strange to write like how my younger self thought and like felt about these things because right now i feel very different like i'm a different person you know i've grown a bit <laughs> and my views on intimacy and sex are quite different this is so gonna get demonetized <laughs> doesn't matter though i enjoy making these vlogs so right now my plan is to write at least 100 words and then hand it in because today's the deadline and then next tuesday i have writing group again i really hope i can get some good feedback so i can make it a better piece because right now i do feel like it's just ramblings of scenes worked out um but i guess that's my process right now because you know it's, it's difficult enough to write about things that are so personal i remember when i started writing this book i was like okay i'll just make an essay collection because it's so much less difficult than writing like a whole fictional story that has to have like a plot and all these characters even though i do like writing fiction i just felt like it was a bigger challenge and now i'm like this is a big challenge as well, just in a different way. And I don't even know if I'll put this essay in just because it's like so personal and the thought of my mother reading this is <laughs> driving me mad. <laughs> oh, anyway, I feel like this writing vlog was a lot of rambling and nonsense, but I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll get back to you soon with another writing vlog, giving you updates on all my essays and where I am in my process. I think it'll be a while until I'll start like assembling and doing next steps because I'm really still in that, oh my God, what am I doing? I'm writing, but what am I doing phase? I feel like that phase is gonna last a while as well. Really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and my little writing challenge. I really do recommend doing a writing challenge like this, especially if you just challenge yourself to write a small amount every day. That really works for me because it's like not too much, it's doable. Don't forget to leave a nice comment down below, letting me know what you thought. And if you don't know what to comment, leave a writing emoji. I don't know what that means, but if you're still here, just pick a writing emoji. It's free to interpretation <laughs> and I'll know you were here until the end. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you like content like this because I make it a lot more often. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.